Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tia and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We are multicultural, we are inclusive. I do name brand wigs all the way to affordable beauty supply store wigs. So if you are looking for something like that, you have found it and you should subscribe right now and hit the bell so you hit the bell so you do not miss anything that I have going on. Okay, so today I am doing a wig review. And this is a company, I think I've done one other wig. I've done one other wig by them and I have one other wig and it is Henry Margu. Um, I'm wearing comfy clothes. In a lot of my videos, you're gonna be seeing comfy clothes coming up just because, well, A, I pre-film. If you don't know that, if you're new here, I do pre-film. So potentially I have filmed something even months ahead of time, especially like my Wigs 101 and things like that. Um, I film in bulk, so I'll film 20 videos in a day. Uh, so you, I may be talking about something like today it is, I think 11 degrees out and we just got about 13 inches of snow. So I live in the frozen tundra. You'll hear me talking about things like that. I am working with some new equipment and upgrading some things so you're going to see some changes. Um, I also have a wig that I'm going to be putting on display during most of my videos. This particular one is Tressa Loris Avery so you will see that coming up. Let's talk about Henry Margu and the wig we're talking about. The wig I'm talking about today is Willow, okay? And I have the color, I have Willow in the color 10 slash 613 GR. Uh, this wig retails in the sort of 225 mark. She is lace front and monofilament. You're like, what does she look like? So this is her right here. It's looking a little shiny in my lights. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see her. Let me try and put her over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the color a little bit better, not directly in my light. Um, so there. So you can kind of see uh, what it looks like a little bit more. But she does have 613 highlights, which are uh, platinum, and, and they're pretty light colored. Yeah, she's got the pre-cut lace here. Um, and then you can see the monofilament parting. So it comes in through here and goes along the front, okay? Uh, then the bulk of the rest of the cap is mesh. There's no combs in the front, no combs in the back, but there are adjustable straps, okay? So let's go ahead and put her on. Ooh, okay, ooh, that hairline is pretty. Uh, she's got venerable ear tabs, so this is where she wants to be. Beautiful rooting. It's saying 10, 613 GR, so I'm assuming that it's a 10 root. Um, and there's these sort of hazelnutty colors, sort of these cool tone brown low lighting in here. All right, I adjusted the lighting a little bit. I think that is a better. So she's really, really pretty. She is, she has sort of these long bangs and then this layer here so she's got several like little layers let me just get her I mean she's not gonna take much but let me just brush through her and get her together and then I will come back and talk to you okay okay <laughs> Okay, it's editing me. Somehow this rest of this video, the footage is kind of messed up. It's not in sync with the audio. So what I'm just gonna do from here on out is I said some really great things. So I'm just gonna speed up the footage that I have and just treat it like it was a voiceover. Um, this is the best way where I can get you the information that I said and get you some visuals. But yeah, that's what we're doing now. I do really like this color and she's sort of that beachy wave. You could use like a, you know, this is the Aesthetica sea salt spray. You could do that to sort of play those waves up a little bit more. 
she wants to be a little flyaway just because this is a very light wig this is all the hair to the front as you saw i was playing with the bangs a little bit <clears throat> this is where i felt like i liked them the best i'm not usually a fan of bangs i don't hate the bangs i just wish they were like a tad longer like maybe to here but outside of that i don't really have the, any complaints i love the coloring you could do like a really cute updo and already have sort of this face framing tendrils uh, going on so you could do that quite easily okay so let's look at her from the back so this is willow from the back that rooting does go all the way through like I said you could easily do like a really cute little something oh, that's my wig cap on. like a really cute little something and then you already have the pieces around the base um in the promo picture she's a lot more curly than she appears to be I would say this is more of a beachy wave and not as curly like like I said you could go ahead and use um a sea salt spray to sort of you know intensify the beachiness but it's it's not going to be like a curly um and she isn't heat safe that i can see yeah that rooting is so pretty you could sort of do this to a flip over method um you would need to use some type of product to keep it down i also know some people like to do this where it's coming right across their face like this um, so you could really do something cute. Again, you just have to use some product to keep it where you wanted it. But you could do sort of that really, really deep parting. Let me use a little bit of this way wax and see if we can get it to lay properly for this kind of style. I love this because it's super light it'll hold um, but it's not going to like you know be a helmet or anything oh yeah that is so cute this is how I would probably wear her more in that deeper you know deeper part and then you could do you know one of these I do like wearing my hair like that as well yeah so um I, I like this wig I just think that it's not as curly as it's going to appear in the photos yeah I mean I'm looking at the photos it just seems a little bit more on the curlier side as opposed to the beachy waves I kind of prefer the beachy wave better um, but like I said you could play the, that up a little bit but I don't know that you could play it up so much that it would appear more curly uh, than beachy so that is what I have for you for this review <clears throat> If you have this wig and you have thoughts, go ahead and put that down below. If you have another color, I would love to hear what color you have and what you think about it. Um, I don't have a separate Henry Margu playlist just yet because I haven't reviewed enough. So I will put my name brand wig playlist down below so you can check out the other wigs from Henry Margu as well as just other wigs that are name brand in general that I have reviewed. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, why? Just go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, notifications, all that. And if you have, you're my doll, baby. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.